So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we're gonna cover the top 10 best 4K camcorders. As more cameras come out, it gets more and more difficult to distinguish between good and great cameras in these days. Today's manufacturers have riddled the market with hybrid cameras that appear to match the quality of real video cameras. But the truth is, even the best hybrid camera often has its drawbacks compared to a dedicated camcorder or video-centric camera. And while most reviewers and journalists seem to overlook this segment of the market in today's world, these cameras remain dangerous contenders for video shooters. And these are the cameras that place maximum emphasis on ensuring their footage meets broadcast standards and quality and offer the capabilities to provide dependable professional video. While there are many great DSLR and mirrorless cameras that offer extraordinary video capabilities and those have their place, the reality is that they don't provide nearly the amount of flexibility a dedicated camcorder provides. With that, let's cover the top 10 best 4K camcorders that provide exceptional value for money. Coming in at number 10, Canon's HFG60. Canon's HFG60 marks their latest entry in the Vixia compact consumer lineup and Canon's next generation of budget-friendly 4K equipped camcorders. Initially released in the spring of 2019 alongside the lower-end HFG50, it replaces the older HFG40 model released in 2016. It features a 1-inch CMOS sensor, a 25.5 to 382.5 mm lens, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, DCN, dual card slots, ND filters, time-lapse microphone and headphone inputs. For video, it shoots 4K UHD at 30p at 100 megabits per second and 1080p Full HD at 60p at 35 megabits per second using the MPEG-4 codec, and it supplies footage to the highly compatible MP4 format. While for stills, it provides 8.29 megapixel photos. Canon's camcorders are known for delivering excellent image quality and lenses, but Canon's also known for their outstanding phase detection autofocusing system. Thanks to the G60's powerful new Digic DV6 image processor, it also obtains Canon's legendary dual pixel CMOS AF technology, a feature found on their high-end EOS DSLRs. Dual Pixel AF delivers superior autofocusing in both speed and accuracy compared to traditional hybrid AF systems, and this camera promises excellent subject tracking performance, making it particularly strong for filming movement where manually focusing is challenging. In the end, the HFG60 is a strong running gun solution that delivers excellent 4K quality in a small compact design with an AF that leads the class at this price point. Coming in at number 9, Sony's FDR AX700. Sony's AX700, initially released in the fall of 2017, replaces the outgoing AX100 flagship, and it now takes the helm as Sony's newest high-performing Handycam model aimed at the prosumer market. It features a 1-inch stacked Exmor RS CMOS sensor, a 29-348mm Zeiss lens, 3.5-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, HDR, DCN, dual card slots, ND filters, time-lapse recording, wireless connectivity, and headphone and microphone inputs. In video capabilities, it supplies 4K UHD video at 30p at 100 megabits per second using the MPEG-4 codec to the XAVCS and AVCHD formats and it shoots 1080p full HD video at 120p at 100 megabits. For stills, it provides 12 megapixel images in the slightly uncommon 3 by 2 aspect ratio. However, Sony's equipped the camera with the slow and quick mode, which provides super slow motion HD videos up to a whopping 960 frames per second. This creates videos that are 32 times slower than real time, and it's a rare feature in this class, but it's one that delivers an enormous amount of control for a consumer camera. Sony has also equipped the camera with S-Log, S-Gamut, and HLG profiles, increasing the camera's dynamic range. This camera also marks the first Handycam camcorder to incorporate Sony's new 273-point hybrid phase detection AF system from their Alpha mirrorless lineup. This system employs phase detection combined with the conventional contrast detection to deliver more precise, accurate, and steadfast focusing. 
The camera offers seven focusing speeds, ranging from super slow to fast, giving users immense flexibility over the AF transition speed as well. In the end, the AX700 is a notable improvement over the predecessor and delivers excellent quality at an approachable price. Coming in at number 8, Panasonic's UX90. Initially released in the fall of 2016 alongside the higher-end UX180, Panasonic's UX90 is the slightly lower-end option in their new UX professional camcorder lineup. And this new series is the long-awaited replacement to the AB Cam camcorder lineup. Both cameras share many of the core underlying features and capabilities with a few key differences that make this the better choice for budget-conscious shooters. It features a 1-inch MOS sensor, a 24 to 480 millimeter Leica lens, a 3.5 articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, DCN, dual card slots, an ND filter, dual XLR inputs, a headphone input. For video, it shoots 4K UHD at 30p at 100 megabits per second and 1080p full HD at 60p at 50 megabits per second. It shoots using the long GOP compression method to either MOV or MP4 formats, and for stills it produces 8.6 megapixel images. Panasonic has equipped the camera with 8 selectable gamma modes, including their Cine Like D and Cine Like V profiles from their flagship Vericam. These profiles increase the camera's dynamic range, or contrast, preserving details in footage. The camera also offers a helpful pre-record function, which continually records four seconds of video and audio into the buffer before pressing the record button, perfect for capturing critical action. In the end, the UX90 is a camcorder that meets the needs of professional productions. It offers the same level of agility as conventional handheld camcorders, but with the addition of inputs a pro demands, and it holds steady in an ever-changing 4K market. Coming in, at number Coming in at number 6, Canon's XA50. Initially released in the summer of 2019 alongside the XA55, Canon's XA50 marks the latest entry into the 4K prosumer camcorder space. The XA50 is the slightly more affordable of the two offerings, with their main difference ultimately coming down to an SDI terminal. Nevertheless, both cameras are largely identical and are the first in the XA lineup to feature a large 1-inch CMOS sensor, compared to the earlier XA30 models. Outside of its larger 1-inch sensor, it also features a 25.5 to 382.5mm lens, optical stabilization, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, dual card slots, dual XLR inputs, ND filters, DCI-N, and headphone and microphone inputs. Like the HFG60, it also inherits Canon's acclaimed dual-pixel CMOS AF from their DSLR lineup, allowing the camera to deliver extraordinary continuous AF and subject tracking. But unlike that camera, this camera obtains dual XLR inputs, allowing it to interface with professional audio devices, and it also obtains face priority and face-only modes, which specifically focus on the faces of subjects. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30p at 160 megabits in the MPEG-4 codec to the MP4 or XFAVC formats, while for 1080p Full HD, it shoots 60p at 45 megabits per second. Canon's also installed the Wide DR Gamma for increased dynamic range and seamless gradations. On the other hand, for stills, it produces 8.29 megapixel images. In the end, the XA50 is a feature-rich and portable option ideally suited for on-the-go news gathering or documentary productions. While it's mostly similar to the G60, it provides the detachable handle, which supplies XLR inputs with other added functionality, and for that reason, it is the stronger option. Coming in at number 5, Sony's PXW-Z150. Sony's Z150 is their next tier in Sony's camcorder lineup, stepping up from their more prosumer-oriented AX series. It replaces the Z100, released three years prior, and is the next installment into their XD Cam series. It features a 1-inch Exmor RS CMOS sensor, a 29-348mm to 348 millimeter lens, a 3.5-inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, ND filters, DCN, and SDI out terminal, dual XLR inputs, wireless connectivity, and a headphone input. 
For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30p at 100 megabits in the MPEG-4 codec to the XAVC and AVC HD formats, while 1080p Full HD shoots up to 60p at 50 megabits. For stills, it produces 14.2 megapixel images. Sony's equipped the camera with the new slow and quick recording mode, which allows the camera to shoot 120p at full HD. It's also one of few cameras in this class with full networking capabilities, allowing FTP transfers and full live streaming or broadcasting without any accessories. And the camera supports full remote control via smartphone or tablet, providing a key selling point over rivals that lack this capability natively. In the end, Sony's experience in design and manufacturing shows with the Z150. It's packed with features that will excite enthusiasts and pros alike, and it delivers broadcast level performance with its advanced long GOP codec and footage free of compromises. Overall, it's a strong option for documentary filmmakers, broadcast, or ENG shooters looking for a grab and go solution. Coming at number 4, Sony's NX80. Initially released in the fall of 2017 alongside the Z90, Sony's NX80 is their first mid-tier 4K camcorder sitting between the AX series and their new Z series. At first glance, it appears similar to the lower end AX700, however, it's a camera oriented more towards professional applications and offers notable additions. It features a 1-inch Exmor RS sensor, 29-348mm lens, a 3.5 articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, dual XLR inputs, an ND filter, DCN, and wireless connectivity. For video, it shoots 4K Ultra HD up to 30p at 100 megabits in the MPEG-4 codec to the XAVCS and AVC HD formats, while 1080p Full HD shoots up to 120p at 100 megabits. For stills, it provides 14.2 megapixel photos. Unlike the Z150, this camera shoots 1080p Full HD 120p natively without the need for the slow and quick mode, a key selling point. However, this camera still offers this mode and it now allows it to deliver super slow motion videos up to 960 frames per second. The camera also inherits wireless connectivity, allowing it to stream and support remote control without any additional accessories. But what sets this camera apart is its 273 point hybrid AF system with face detection and lock on AF for excellent subject tracking. The system is also fully customizable and fully suited for anything from smooth cinematics to sports. The camera also supports HDR recording in the HLG in addition to Sony's log profiles. In the end, Sony's NX80 offers strong broadcast quality with a high speed autofocusing system and streaming capabilities. It also combines an excellent feature set in a more portable form factor than much of the competition. Not to mention it's the first palm size NX camcorder to deliver HDR content and Sony's HLG profiles. Coming at number 3, Canon's XF400. Released alongside the XF405 in the fall of 2017, the XF400 is Canon's latest 4K UHD 60p camcorder for ENG or documentary productions and the newest entry in the XF detachable handle series of professional cameras. It features a 1-inch CMOS sensor, a 25.5 to 382.5 mm lens, optical stabilization, a 3.5-inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, dual card slots, dual XLR inputs, DCN, ND filters, wireless connectivity, and headphone and microphone inputs. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 60p at 100 megabits in the MPEG-4 codec to the MP4 format, and it shoots 1080p Full HD up to 60p at 35 megabits. Alternatively, for stills, it produces 8.29 megapixel photos. Canon's equipped the camera with the slow and fast motion recording mode, allowing the camera to supply super slow motion videos up to 120 frames per second in full HD at an impressive 175 megabits per second. It also obtains wide DR gamma support for seamless gradations and smooth details. Like the XA50, the camera also obtains Canon's renowned dual pixel CMOS AF for confident subject tracking and continuous AF performance. 
The system also comes with the new face priority and face only AF modes, providing precise flexibility over the autofocusing. However, since the camera is Wi-Fi enabled, it offers wireless transfers via FTP for editing or live streaming, as well as full remote operation. In the end, the XF400 is a camera suited for broadcast and event work, and it's a compact, highly versatile option that will meet the needs of professionals across a wide range of recording situations. Coming in at number 2, Panasonic's UX180. Initially released in the fall of 2016, Panasonic's UX180 was released alongside the UX90 as the premium model to replace the AG160. It's a camera that takes much of the core features from its lower cost counterpart, but adds extras to make it more oriented towards working professionals. It features a 1 inch MOS sensor, 25 to 508 millimeter Leica lens, a 3.5 inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, ND filters, optical stabilization, DCN, dual XLR, dual card slots, and a headphone input. It records DCI 4K up to 24p, 4K UHD up to 60p, and 1080p Full HD up to 60p. And it provides footage using the MPEG-4 codec at 150 megabits per second to the MOV, MP4, and AVCHD formats. The camera also offers super slow motion recording in the form of 120 frames per second in Full HD. For stills, it produces 8.8 .8 megapixel photos. Unlike competitors, it's one of the rare cameras to offer cinema 4K recording, the slightly wider 17x9 aspect ratio, and it's also one of few cameras to provide an SDI output. Not to mention, its 25.4mm lens and angle of view makes it the widest of any fixed lens camcorder around in this price point, and it also inherits the cine like gammas from the Panasonic flagship Vericam. In the end, the UX180 delivers enormous upgrades in imaging and versatility over its lower end counterpart, and it's an excellent choice for professionals needing performance and control in multi-camera environments. Coming at number 1, Panasonic's DVX200. Initially released in the fall of 2015, the Panasonic DVX200 offers the greatest feature set of all of its rivals. It features a rather large Micro Four Thirds MOS sensor, 30.6 to 398.7 mm Leica lens, a 4.3 inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, DCN, ND filters, dual card slots, dual XLR, and SDI output, headphone and microphone inputs. For video, it shoots DCI 4K up to 24p, 4K UHD up to 60p, and 1080p FHD up to 60p. And it does so in the MPEG-4 codec at 100 megabits in the MOV, MP4, and AVCHD formats. Like the UX180 below it, it supports variable frame rate recording in Full HD up to 120 frames per second, and for stills, it provides 8.9 megapixel photos. However, its sensor is the key selling point over its lower end brother, the UX180, and all of its other rivals. It's the world's first micro four thirds or four thirds large format camcorder with an integrated zoom lens. This addition allows the camera to offer the best low light performance and greatest depth of field in its class. It also obtains full V-Log and sitting like support, allowing the camera to boast a 12 stop dynamic range and it obtains advanced recording functionality such as background recording and pre-recording, both ensuring you never miss a moment. In the end, Panasonic's DVX200 is an impressive and innovative release that brings an artistic design to an otherwise stale market. It makes the best camera in its class and provides excellent value for money, and it's the ideal choice for documentary filmmakers looking for the benefits of a larger sensor without the limitations of traditional cameras. So there you have it my friends, there is our list of the top 10 best 4K cameras in today's market. While many journalists often overlook camcorders, they remain a relevant and real segment of today's market. They provide far more flexibility and capabilities than even the best stills, DSLR or mirrorless camera around without any unnecessary compromises. And overall, they remain the best choice for serious enthusiasts or professionals looking for pristine video recording. They provide an all-in-one simple to use package that delivers the results that meet and in some cases surpass the industry standards. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. 
Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>